Cindy out of here with my Arxy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Guess what? My chair's starting to squeak already. Oh well. Um, hey, it's time for my giant life. And this month, let's grab out, this must be 11, which is November. Um, so we have our, do I have two here? No, I just have one. All right, so we have our Jack of Diamonds. And let's see what the prompt is for this month. The prompt for this month says, My Giant Feather. Draw a feather on cardstock, watercolor paper, something thick. Paint it, decorate it using glitter sequins, blings, and buttons. Create a colorful background on your giant card. Glue your feather to your card and find a favorite feather quote. All right, that is this month's prompt. So what I'm going to do is set this aside. And feather. All right, well, first I'm going to start out with my card because first thing I'm going to do is I want to coat a gesso on this because there's stuff that I want to put on here that um, will do better with gesso. So grab me a brush. Um, I've already sanded this card, as you can see the little scratches. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. Not too much because you won't be able to see the whole card then. But I'm going to put a couple coats of gesso on this. Uh, you guys don't really need to see that. So I'm going to do a couple coats of gesso and I will be back and we'll start creating a feather. How's that sound? I don't know about all the, you know, sequins and stuff, but we're going to make a feather. You know, I always, it's funny because when I talk to Ann, I'm like, do I always have to do what it says? She's like, no, it's your creativity. Do what you want. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so there's one coat of gesso. Let's let this dry up real quick. I'll do another coat, and if I have to, we'll do gesso in a different color. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside to dry. I've put a couple coats on it, so let's just move that out of the way. What I want to work on, this is a piece of watercolor paper that was sent to me in a swap eons ago, and I want to, I'm just going to take a regular pencil, And I'm just, just kind of kind of sketching out real lightly a um, feather. Looks kind of funky right there, doesn't it? Can you even see it? Sorry. Right. And we're gonna just cut it out roughly. All right. And then I'm gonna keep it that long. I'll work on the other side. Just start making, looks like a big banana right now. A big banana. Okay, so we're just gonna, you know what, let's try something. We're just, this is a, a trial. I'm going to put just a line here so I have an idea of where I'm going. What's the worst that's going to happen? I won't like it, so I'll use it in something else. Oops, or I cut a piece out, which is fine also. Trying to make them small enough so that they'll, see? I'm still going to paint it, but I'm going to do some paint to it. See what I did? Sorry, I'm kind of quiet today. I'm just, uh, I don't know, just enjoying. 
I have my pellet stove on because it's cold. That nasty S word is coming eventually. Um, meaning snow. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. It's just give me another good reason to hibernate in my art studio and do my job. My job. This isn't a job. This is my fun. Actually, this helps me with the pain. It helps me to keep sane. Um, without this, I don't know. I would be just stir crazy. So I enjoy what I do. Um, some days it's a lot harder to do than others. But, you know, I'm liking this side more than I like the other side. That's kind of scary, huh? Not really. It's okay. Now I just need to take a couple out here and there, like this one, so we have an idea that it's a feather and not just a big banana. it. Now I want to got to do another one. Let's say right about here. Let's take this one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, and we're going to do some more work to it. We're going to make it look, look more like a, um, it's just so take let's take let's try gray see if I like that any better that'll work and I am just just putting a different color on top of this purple. I'll probably end up using white too. Um, just to give it some more interest. I'm not sure I like all of that there, so we'll just kind of rub it. There we go. Now I want purple. On top of purple. And I'm definitely going to put some white on here too. Why not? Because we can. So, my hubby's birthday, um, he turned 50. The big 5 0. And now he can retire, which is coming soon, December 15th. He will be done. Tell you, 30 years at the same career is a long, long time. This is a uh, glitter Posca. Um, I found it on Amazon. Honestly, I don't remember how much it was. It comes in a set of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. I see seven of them here, but um, yeah. So these are glitter Poscas. See if you guys can see this. Can you see the glitter? Let me see. I don't know if you can see the glitter on it. Yeah, right there. See it? That's all glitter. Do, 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 do. 
feathers are so organic. I mean, they just, no two feathers. If you ever look at feathers, no two are alike. And it's just so much fun to play with them. Let's add some blue in our feather. We'll add some blue glitter. Why not? Think that's a good idea? I do. Purple and blue. So yeah, we are really excited about Hub's retiring and our next, the beginning of our next journey, which is going to be moving. Yes, I know. Yeah, I can hear you guys groaning. Oh no, your art studio! Yep, it's going to be left here. But you know what? That's okay because I'll have a new one where I'm going. Hold on just a moment. All right, so I'm going to set this aside and let all that glitter goodness dry. We're going to work on that more in a bit. But I want to work, <laughs> I'm still on my coffee. I want to work on this this morning. Um, this is a piece, of course, of tissue paper. And look at all the feathers. So this is going to go on here. I do want to use up, if I can, this glue. It's got paint on it. Um, just because there's not much left. And I just would like to use it up. So... We're going to use this glue. So I hope you guys are all getting ready for your holidays coming up. Anybody that has holidays they're celebrating. You know, it's it's the time to spend with your family. That's, that's what I think is most precious. But anyways, I was talking about, yeah, mine and Jeff's next journey. And yeah, we will be moving. Um, it's all good. I know my hub, wherever we end up, he will make sure I have another art studio. Um, actually, I was looking at a house last night on uh, online. Oh, I fell in love with it. But we can't do that yet. So I got to stop looking at houses <laughs> because I fall in love with them. And I'm like, we can't go yet because he's still working. So yeah. So in the meantime, I'm just going to try to be patient, and any of you guys that have watched me long enough know that patience is not my middle name. Um, I'm not a fan of being patient. I have a very hard time. So, see, this is why I want to use up this glue. It's getting clumps in it. So it's got to go bye bye Now this didn't take up, um, it didn't really cover up that whole, the jack underneath, but that's okay. I don't care. This is fun, right? All right, now I gotta get the excess glue off here. Let me take one of my. All right, let me dry this up and I will be back shortly. Alright, so this is kind of dry. Not all the way, but kind of. Um, I've got these paints here. Um, you guys have seen me use these before. They're supposed to be opaque uh, neons. They're not. They are transparent neons. And I just want a little bit of each of these. I'm going to play around with. So I just, just want to put a little bit of color on this. And I don't really want it to... Uh, cover up the feathers so that's what we're doing and I'm gonna need more than that that's for sure just want to put a little color down just to make it not so white just throw a little bit more yellow on there Ugh. Yeah, the tops of these are also very hard to get off um, because they're so tiny. See how tiny they are? So if you have problems with your hands, that's not going to be a good paint for you. A little bit more blue. Ouch. Oops. Got lots more blue. Don't need quite that much. 
Yes, I know, yellow and blue are making green. It's all good. Just wanted a little bit of color on there. Alright, so I want a little bit more of this yellow. Just want it, just want it brighter. There we go. That's the kind of yellow I'm looking for. And see, even when you put them on heavier, um, they're not opaque. Ugh. I should just, now I got too much on there. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Is there too much paint or not enough paint? <laughs> Guess it could be worse, right? Yellow down here. Do, 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 do. A little bit more blue. See, they're really not easy to get up. Alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this should pop out. We hope. There we go. We still have our feathers. We can still see our feathers in the background, which is cool. Love that tissue paper. Isn't that awesome? You guys might hear my pellet stove in the background. Um, yeah, it's code. Code, code, code. So. Now I'm using the same sponge on this. That's why I'm getting some of that green, which is fine with me. Um, but I'm also getting some of that yellow, the bright, bright yellow, so that's all good. Make this a little bit darker. Like. How come I always go, I always go in stripes like that? I don't know why. It's really weird. Oh well, it's all good. It's the way I like it. Alright, so there's those two colors. Now I'm going to dry this up and we're going to keep on going. I'll be right back. Alright, well while I'm letting this dry, I shot it with the heat gun, but there's still spots here and there that aren't quite dry. So we're going to set that aside for a minute. <clears throat> I want to show you this pad of paper that I found. Um, this I got a long, quite a while ago. I want to say a few years ago. Um, it's from DCWV and it's artwork by Donna Estabrooks, Estes, I don't know, E S T A something R O O K S, uh, and I just I love this paper. It's just so pretty. Look at this. I'll show it to you. And like I said, this this tablet is really really old. Um, I've had it quite a few years. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna cut out these birds. But look at this paper. I just want to show it to you. Isn't that really cool? Bumblebee. Just so pretty. And then another thing I want to cut out. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And it's got the glitter. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got glitter on it. I like that white bird too. I might take him. I don't know. We'll see. But they're just, it's just beautiful, beautiful paper. And I love these flowers. These flowers are just so cool. But um, I've used this paper a lot. Um, not a whole much of it left. So pretty. Treat you like a queen. Beautiful heart. pretty. But anyways, I just want to show you guys this pad of paper. Um, like I said, I bought it a long time ago. It looks like I got it at Hobby Lobby, I would say, on clearance for five bucks. So, oh, there she is. E-S-T-A-B-R-O-O-K-S. Um, she's from Florence, Massachusetts. It says here, on most days, Donna Estabrooks can be found in her studio in Florence, Massachusetts, reform performing her life's mission. Creating art to heal, transform, and inspire. Through her website, www.donnaestabrooks.com, she shares her original paintings with people across the 
bleh, across the globe. Now DCWV is pleased to introduce Donna's delightful work to the scrapbooking world. Hmm. So, there you go. There you have it. Anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. Yeah, see, I get sidetracked. Squirrel. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this birdie. Now, you're... I, you know, I could sit here and, and paint a birdie, but to be honest with you, um, I'm not too hip on <laughs> my own drawing skills. I have a long way to go. I still have a lot of practice to do. So for right now, I'm just going to borrow from other people. And again, I am not selling any of this stuff. This is my own personal use, and that's why I have no problem doing this. Um, so just going to take out a couple birdies. I wish, I wonder if we have one going the other way. Let's look and see. Do we have a birdie facing that way? We do. We have one little one. Let's see. Is there any more? No. Guess what? We do. We got this one. And you know what? She's all covered in glitter. So, although they say the male birds are the, are the more decorated, right? So funny, for many years I would be like, I'm not cutting that paper up just for, ah, I'll cut it up. Yep, no problem. <laughs> I'm going to keep that word fly too. Alright, so these birdies are going to go on my page and along with my feather. And I'm not sure what else. We might have to uh, paint some flowers or some trees or whatever. But right now I'm just kind of fussy cutting this guy. Nothing crazy. If there's a little bit of line or white, whatever, that's fine. It's all good. Do -do. Take off his feet thingies. Do -do 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 -do. You guys keep your eyes out. I believe we're going to be doing this next year as well. My Giant Life. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, so there's my two birdies. Love that. Isn't that cool? I'm definitely going to have to play around with some other stuff. I guess those guys are going to wait for another day. So, there's my two birdies. Now they're going to end up being kind of like this or somewhat. Take my feather. My feather's going to go on here. My little birdies. I go out my feather overhead. All right, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out some more paint. Only this time I want some purples and maybe some pinks. Let's see, there's a pink, there's a purple. Um, let's start with these. And you know, I love the idea of just the, the block. I call them block flowers. So let's make some block flowers. We're gonna do. I'm gonna take this. I know this is supposed to be a stenciling brush, but I don't ever use these for stenciling. All right, let's just play. So we're gonna make some blot flowers. Why not? Probably like, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I'm making block flowers. <laughs> All right. Block, block, block flowers. Let's make some bigger than others. Let's make some bigger block flowers. And then what I'll have to do is once this paint all dries, then I'll go in and actually make flowers out of them. I like it though. A big one right there. And then I'm just going to, because I'm going to use that purple, I'm just going to kind of come in on this this way. Just to give it a background, or not a background, a border like. And if you notice, most of this is going on my drop paper, and that's really, that's fine. What I'm, I just want to make it a border, that's all. I'll move over there. Okay. 
All right. Do, 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 do. Block flowers, I like it. I have a piece of paper over here, something I was playing with, and just because I want to wait for them to dry, I'm just gonna do some blobs on this. Use up this paint. Yeah, we don't want to waste it, right? And people, oh my god, what are you doing over that? It's all good. I have lots more paper where this comes from. There we go. Just to use up what was on the brush. Okay. Let me dry this up and I'll be back. Alright, so there's a couple things I want to do. Um, the first being... I don't know if that's waterproof. Hang on. Um, okay. First thing I want to do is I want to open this birdie's eye. All right. We're gonna give him feet. This one's all glittery, so that's fine. What I'm thinking about doing is I want to put this here. And then I'm going to make another blot flower up there, so I'm going to have to get that out. So let's glue this down real quick. I am going to use tacky glue. And I'm only going to glue the middle and the end. I want it just like that. And then I'm going to put another, let me see if I can use this one. I put my brush in the water. I'll get a lot of the water out of it. Okay. So I'm going to make a big old blobby flower right here. It's just going to be a big flower up there. Okay. Let that dry. Now these guys, I think, are going to sit here on the flowers. Liking it so far. Um, I want to dry that. Let's dry that real quick. All right, let me dry this real quick and figure out what I'm going to do with it next. I'll be right back. All right, so I've let this dry for a few minutes. And now I'm going to take, this is another purple um, that I got on clearance. I'm going to take this pink purple is what I call it and we're just going to make little things in our flowers. It's got to have a bigger thing in its flower. And um, then once this dries, then we'll get the white out, but the actual white. I don't mean white out like, you know, white out. I mean... <laughs> I'll get the white so I can do some paint on the, some white paint on these. And then we also need to figure out the stems, which I'll do that in just a minute. But I just want to play. Play, play, play. Isn't it fun? I just love, I love to play in paint. There's something about it to me that's just so relaxing and um, healing and takes your mind off things and I just I love it so we're gonna let that dry then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put our birdies on we're gonna do our white um, and then I want to find a quote I want to find a quote about flying you know just fly it might just go in here somewhere I don't know we'll see let me find a quote. I'll be right back. All right. So I've got these on here now. Of course, I've been looking. Doo -doo. And I want to add some more feathers to this. Let's see what I've got here. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy feathers. That's like a fuzzy. That's interesting, huh? Um. I'm looking for Doo -doo -doo. 
Why are my, I have body parts in with the feathers. No idea. Okay, this is what I'm looking for, is the fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy ones. Hmm. Hmm, I don't have any. All right, let's do this. Let's take... Fuzzy feather. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's a cool feather, huh? Okay. I got feather stuff all over the place. I just want to put. Where's my glue? This one's not gonna go there. This one's gonna go there. Actually, this one is. Don't mind me. I don't know what I'm doing. Just having fun. I'm doing whatever I feel like doing. Okay, let's put him here. He's got to come this way, though, a little bit. Let's turn him around. We'll glue the other side, no problem. I'll have enough glue on him, he won't move. Alright, so let's just put him down in here. Come on, get off there, glue. He's a fuzzy fuzzy. This fuzzy's gonna go right here. It's funny, I make I made a feather and now I'm covering it up. <laughs> I won't cover it all up, I promise. I like it, it's fun. My phone's pinging, I'm sorry. I will have to fix that in a minute. Just want just a little bit in here. Come on, get in there. There you go. Just a little bit more feather, feather to it. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, now, um, where's my top? Where's my top? Right oh, there. Okay, so now we have our guys here, guys and gal, or guy and gal, gal and guy. This one's gonna go right here. I wonder, should I say, all right, let's just do it. Just do it, Cindy, just do it. So this guy or gal, whichever you want to call it, baby, child, grandma, grandpa, father, I don't know. I'm going to go right there. And yeah, I'm going to do something more to these flowers. I just, I haven't done it yet. Now it's funny, I was looking up a quote. And I found this quote and I thought, ooh, I like it. But I don't really have a whole lot of room there to do it. But the quote is, um, first love yourself. Others will come next. Hmm. Gives you something to think about, doesn't it? First love yourself. Others will come next. That pink is still not dry. I just stuck my finger in it. This is going to sit here on the flower. First, love yourself. Now, I want some white paint, which is right here. Um, because I want to take a little bit of paint. I'm just going to take this brush, just a watercolor brush. And I want to... a little bit of paint in there and then I'm gonna take a tiny 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 brush with the paint and just kind of give it a little bit of a something oops doesn't matter it's just a pretty flower right and then I'm gonna take that red again and I'm gonna make the uh, um, stems out of the red why red because I can or maybe even the white Thank you. 
do, do. It's raining here today, and the rain is not a good thing to have when you have severe back pain. So if I sound kind of loopy, it's because I'm on quite a bit of painkillers right now. It's the only way I can do this. So, yeah, that's what it is. What it is, you know. I live with it. All right, now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take that red that's up here. I'm just gonna make some. Come on. Just some stems for the flowers. We don't want them all to just be hanging here, do we? Could, I guess. It doesn't really matter. It's our picture. We can do it any way we want to, right? Just so much fun. I want a little bit bigger. I want a little bit bigger paintbrush. So let's get. Let's take this one a little bit bigger. I just want to do, 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 do. just playing, right? Isn't that what this is all about? Just play. That's what I like to do. do, do. That one's a little bit too big. That's okay. And just have fun with it. And I see one that I missed. So let's go back here and let's just take this and now what I want to do is I want to go back in with this red and put this red on top of this white because it'll show a little bit better. These are strange looking flowers, aren't they? It's all good. Alright. I love this guy here, but I don't... I'm not sure what I want to do with him. Alright, I have this fly. This is not going to go in here, so that's going to go in my mini drawer. And I'm actually going to write fly here, but before I do that, I want this to dry. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it pretty well dry. I still want to put fly right here, but I want to play around with putting some bling, 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 bling on my feathers. These are just something I picked up probably on clearance. I just thought they were kind of cute. Just little bling, bling. So I'm just going to put some, put this down under here. Such bling. Just fun, huh? I like this card. This is fun. This month is cool. Actually, every month I've done them, I've really enjoyed them. Some months I don't know what I'm going to do when I read the prompt, but I just wing it. So, and then I have these. Where are they? These ones. I want to put a little bling in the middle of my flowers. So we're going to put the small ones. Come on. Stay there. I probably should glue these down, but I'm not going to right now. I'm just going to use the stick them that's on them. And then if they come off, I'll glue them down. And then I'm going to go down to the littler ones for the smaller flowers. That's not a small flower, but that works. Right? Let's 
I don't think the paint is also, is not all the way dry, so maybe they'll dry and stick with the paint too. All right, phone's ringing, I'll be back. All right, so I've got, this is a, one of those peel and sketch charcoals. I just want to put a little bit around this guy here. Let's see, oops. just want a little bit of darkness. There we go. Okay. Um, these I just picked up the other day at Hobby Lobby on clearance. They are letters as you can see um, and they're like a copper and a green I just thought these were really cool they were normally five bucks and I got them for $1.79 so I like those and so I brought out fly and it says they're stickers oops I don't need the eye so let's see alright so they do have a sticker on them they're quite sticky, but I'm just going to make sure that they stay. Let's see. Do, do, do. All right. One more. All right, I'm going to put that right there. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see. I like it. What do you think? Here we go. We have our November My Giant Life, which is feather. Okay, and I've got my birds and I got my fly, and there we go. I think I'm done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely check out the other artists in the description box below because we have a few of us doing these. They're a lot of fun. And like, comment, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you'd like. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.